Good morning, Cheektowaga Central. I'm Molly, and this is Kobe with your Everyday News. Today's Wednesday, February 12th, and it is a B-Day. Please stand for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The second annual collection for care package supplies for military troops deployed overseas for the Blue Star Mothers of America is still on. The collection will run until this Friday, the 14th. A detailed list of items to donate will be posted outside of C-124. If you have any questions or would like to help out, please see Mrs. Shanley before or after school. Attention all students interested in buying a yearbook, especially seniors. If you're going to buy a yearbook, please plan on making your purchase as soon as possible. The final count for yearbooks must be submitted to Jostens by Friday, this Friday, so there will, be, there will only be a limited number of extra yearbooks ordered to be available for purchase. You can purchase your book online from Jostens or you can make a deposit to reserve your copy of the yearbook. You must make a cash deposit of at least $10 to Mrs. Morano in the room across from D-157, periods 5E, 7L, or after school. You don't want to be disappointed in June when all your friends are signing yearbooks and you don't have this memento of your high school years at Chicago Central. So get a yearbook. Attention Senior National Honor Society invi invitees. Last Friday's after school meeting was postponed until today. Please plan on seeing uh, staying after school today with Mr. Orgak in room D259. For this week's Workforce Wednesday, a representative from Darien Lake will be outside of lunches from 11 to 1 today. Attention seniors! Due to unforeseen circumstances, some of the senior photo files were deleted by the studio we contracted. To make sure that, you're, uh, to make sure that senior students are represented properly, seniors need to check the photo on file in C-121 with Mrs. Higgins. If the picture is not correct, then there will be a one-day redo on Tuesday, February 25th in the high school conference room. There is not a cost to students for the poses for the yearbook, but this is a one-time offer to meet the yearbook deadline. They are very sorry for this mishap and are working with us to rectify the situation the best they can. Attention all seniors, please check the spelling of your name for your senior quote, senior photo, baby pictures, and quote by Friday the 14th. This, the book is being sent to print and all errors need to be fixed before the deadline. Report to C-121 and see Miss Higgins as soon as possible. Kindness is in the air. The junior class is selling Hershey Kisses, Hershey Kiss Roses for Valentine's Day. Purchase a flower for someone to show you are thinking of them. Roses are one for one dollar or three for two dollars. Roses will be sold during lunches and uh, before and before in the foyer until this Thursday. Sad will be meeting in D one fifty seven after school on Friday. Please be prompt. Congratulations goes out to your masterminds team who won last night defeating Kanisha's fifty five to twenty five. They were led by Captain Helena Haddad with full support from Kimberly Fom and Nadavia Bryant. Way to go, ladies. That's all for your everyday announcements. Now over to Christian and Richard for your central sports. Good morning, Chitawaga Central. I'm Richard, and this is Christian with your everyday sports. Attention spring athletes. The doctor will be doing sports physicals today at 9 a.m. in the high school clinic. If you plan to play a sport, please see Mrs. Brock to check if your physical is still valid. Do not assume because it was good for a previous sports season that it hasn't expired. Make an appointment today. Please start handing... Please start handing in health histories to the high school clinic. They do not go to your coach. Attention all girls in grades 9 through 12. There is a very important meeting for anyone interested in playing softball in the spring today at 2 p.m. in room D151. Come down and meet our new coaching staff and get ready for a solid season of success. Your Warriors Unified Bowling Team won a hard-fought battle against a very good Lackawanna team 5-4 to four last night. The game came down to the 10th frame in the A match, which was being bowled by John Robinson and Alyssa Norton. Both bowlers bowled their best games. Jonathan bowled a 129 and a 134. These are 40 and 50 pins higher than his average. Alyssa bowled a 155 and a 146, which is 50 pins above her average. The two bowlers also won the Warrior Hard Hat Award for their leadership and outstanding sportsmanship on the lanes. Amberlyn Sokol, Amy Zalasco, Gracie Amanti, Mary Tran, Matthew Scafetta, Felix Zielinski, and Ian Williams all bowled above their averages to help secure a win. The Warriors would like to thank Mrs. Murano and Ms. Quillis for coming out to support the team. Our next game is Friday at spare time. 
The boys' JV basketball warriors edged the Lakeshore Eagles 62-60 to Tuesday night behind two winning free throws from Rico Evans with eight seconds left. It was a tough battle all night, but the Warriors persevered and got the win. Malachi Parker and Ja'Kai Rainey led the Warriors with 20 points apiece. Eric Bailey and Keandre Gonzalez both chipped in with 7 points. The boys improved to 12-6 in the season and face Maryville at home Thursday at 5 p.m. The boys' varsity basketball Warriors got off to a solid start after taking a 14-10 lead in the first quarter, but that was it. It didn't last as they fell 60-49 to, to host to host Lakeshore. Nevada Eldridge led the Warriors with 17 points and 9 rebounds. Keontae Brown had 14 points and Markel Henley chipped in with 9 points. Next up, the Warriors host Maryville Thursday night at 6.30. Come out and support your Warriors. That's all for today's announcements. Have a great day, Central.